All right, start from the math. Easy solution here to discuss. Another uh, inverse hyperbolic trig functions to logarithms uh, video and basically show how to convert this function, the inverse hyperbolic cotangent of x, into uh, basically 1 divided by 2 uh, ln of x plus 1 divided by x minus 1. And basically for the domain of absolute value of x is greater than 1 right here. And before I prove this, I just want to first uh, make a note. All related videos to this is shown in the video links below, like inverse functions, hyperbolic functions, logarithms, etc. So make sure to watch those uh, if you need further information on uh, anything I covered today. And also, uh, before I prove this, I just want to point out that uh, hyperbolic cotangent of x, not the inverse, just regular this one, by definition is equal to 1 divided by 10, I mean hyperbolic 10 of x, and then this equals 2, well by definition, uh, this one's going to be sine, hyperbolic sine divided by cos, but then we'll flip it, so basically hyperbolic cosine of x divided by hyperbolic sine of x right here. And then if you were to write the definition of these two out, you'll get basically equals 2 e to the x plus e to the negative x all divided by 2 and then divided, that's the definition of cos. Now when we look at the hyperbolic sine, we get e to the x minus e to the negative x divided by 2. And the 2's cancel, so we're just left with, yeah, we're just left with uh, e to the x plus e to the negative x all divided by e to the x minus e to the negative x. So this is basically what this cotangent of x is equal to. And now here, uh, to understand how do we get this domain, first of all, this is, uh, this, this function here I have graphed out with Google Graphing Calculator. This is just hyperbolic tan of x, and as you can see, there's this e to the x minus. It's just the same thing here, but flipped, because this one is cotangent. So when we look at the cotangent, basically, it's going to be 1 divided by this, and when it's at 0 here, we're going to be 1 divided by, but it's going to be basically going up like this because we're going to go to infinity, 1 divided by 0 is go, it goes to approaches infinity, and then as we go approach 1 right here, as x approaching 1, 1 divided by 1 is going to be like this. So it should look something like that, and also for the negative side it will look something like this. So this black one is basically the cotangent, uh, hyperbolic cotangent of x. Yeah, here I've graphed out that function I just that I just quickly roughly drawn, just to show it with Google Graph and calculate, this is just 1 divided by the 10, or, or this is going to be hyperbolic, uh, cotangent of x. So as you can see, it looks something like exactly like how I drew or similar to it. And now if you want to get the inverse of it, we need to draw a line uh, y equals x, like I showed in my earlier video. If we have y equals x right here, then this function is going to be a mirror image about it. The inverse function is going to be a mirror image. Let's draw this all the way down. And this is going to be, in, in, what if we draw it out, this is going to be a mirror image on this side. It's going to be like like this. And it will approach zero. And on this one here, as approaching one, we're going to be flipping it, so it's approaching basically up above like that. And as, as well on this case right here, so be like that. And then this one right here would be a sharper turn. So basically, we're mirroring image from this one and this, and now and, and then this line would be the um, inverse hyperbolic cotangent of x. So it's a rough drawing. Yeah, so that was a rough drawing, and here I've, I've put them all together. So once again, the blue one is, yeah, the blue one is this hyperbolic tan of x. The orange is the inverse cotangent of hyperbolic cotangent of x. And then we have this y equals x line here, just to show that exact thing I did earlier with roughly. And now we have, uh, and then this one here, the red is just a cotangent of hyperbolic cotangent of x. And now to get the domain, since we flipped it here, so as you can see in this case, we are basically uh, in this case right here. Yeah, for for this function, we are dealing with only x is greater than one here. And now this orange one is approaching uh, negative one here. So again, it's going to be x is less than negative one. Or in other words, uh, this is basically uh, everything but in between here, or the absolute value of x has to be basically greater than one, and nothing in between. So this is just this is exact same way as writing x is less than one, negative one, and x is greater than one. This absolute value of x is greater than one here. That's the same thing as that. So we got the domain down for this. So now we can go ahead and proving the rest of the uh, conversion. So if we let y equals 2 hyperbolic cotangent of, I mean inverse hyperbolic cotangent of x, is the same thing as writing x equals 2 hyperbolic cotangent of y. So this is basically the definition of inverse function. You just flip x and y, now you got to solve for y. 
and that's why we have mirror across the y equals x lines. All we're doing is switching x and y. And that's what we do here. We switch x and y or mirror it. That's the same thing. So now when we have this one, we could plug in, in this case, x is equal to. And then what we scrolled up, what we found out earlier in this one, we'll replace the x's with y's. So we get now e to the y plus e to the negative y, all divided by e to the y minus e to the negative y. And now, so we have this part right here, so we can multiply the bottom to get it out of there by x here, so we multiply on this side. So we get x e to the y minus x e to the negative y equals two e to the y plus e to the negative y. So I'm gonna, now I'm gonna move all the e to the y, so this to the left side and all the negative e to the y's to the right side. So we get, and we also, if we factor it out, so move this over, so x minus one times e to the y is equal to, move this over to this side, now we'll have an x plus one, because it's gonna be positive, uh, we're, instead of the negative, so it's negative here, we're gonna be positive here, e to the negative y. So I just flip, moved this to the right side and factored out the e to the negative y's and e to the y. So now what we can do is actually multiply both sides by e to the y. So we multiply both sides by e to the y, so we're not changing any things we're doing to both sides. So what we get here now is basically, in this case, we'll get x minus 1 e to the 2y equals 2 x plus 1 and now we have to add these up this is going to be e to the y times e to the negative y that's going to be added up this is going to be now plus y that equals to e to the 0 and this equals 2 1 so basically anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1 you see that in the video link below and now we have this part here so that's the 1 we just cancel out so now what we could do is divide both, you know, just divide this output on the right side. So e to the 2y is equal to x plus 1 all divided by x minus 1. So now we could lawn both sides and use the log properties to get this 2y out of there. And lawn this, yes, yeah, so lawn this side here, so we got that part. And now we could put down the 2 to the y, so we get 2y lawn e equals to lawn x plus 1 all divided by x minus 1. And now in this case right here, this ln e is just equal to 1. And now we have this 2y, but we can divide the 2 out. So we get y is equal to 1 divided by 2, divided by it out on this side. So we get ln x plus 1 all divided by x minus 1. And there you go, we've converted this y, which again equals 2 inverse hyperbolic cotangent of x. And then we've already shown that the domain is for x is greater than 1. Yeah, x is greater than 1. So anyways, that's all for today. This is yeah, basically the exact same thing I wanted to prove. That's all for today. Hopefully you enjoyed this. And uh, remember, you can download these exact notes in the Dropbox link below. And there you go. Once again, that's what we just proved. Yeah, and thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.